Hi, welcome. This is a taste sampling video and we have five items, some of which I've already been snacking on, but I wanted to share the experience with you. Two I got in the mail today, or um, Amazon Fresh, and I was very grateful to buy them on Amazon because there's nothing like them in the store. And that would be Kettle Crinkle Cut Habanero Lime. So bright. Look at that. <laughs> Makes me like blip. Alright, and the other item is um, Blue Diamond Bold Habanero Barbecue. And I can't wait, to, you saw the, see the peppers on the side there. <laughs> can't wait to try them. I have a full bottle of water and some cold chocolate milk. So, I'm ready. Shouldn't be that hot. Um, my spice tolerance is quite high now. I uh, have been building it, not on purpose, just by wanting hotter and hotter. So, plus all those... Um, like ghost pepper s burgers and stuff I've been trying. <laughs> you saw them maybe on my my channel. So, okay. Uh, I think I will start. Well, I wanted to show you um, the three other items I've been eating and trying. And the first one is Pringles. Habanera. And um, it's just, it, it's a nice one, it tastes like, I mean, I'm not going to eat it because I don't really enjoy it. It tastes like salsa and it's spicy, but it's not that spicy, not like kick it up spicy. So <laughs> the other one I've been eating, it's like half, well, it's a fourth of the way down. Scorchin, the new Scorchin release. There's three flavors, barbecue, chili lime, and um, the other one, what was the other one? I think it's cheddar. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, but this one, I like the lime flavored spicy food. Um, which brings me to the last one, which is almost gone. The Doritos Dynami Dynamita Chili and Limon. There, I went to the store looking for the habanero, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Can't find it online. So I found other things. So I'm going to start... Um, and I have the, um, well, that's an interesting sound. So I have a uh, habanero dynamita Doritos. This is what they look like. And I'm not touching it because I don't want to touch my face and get hot. And also, it leaves a really bright red. That's like dust. So, um... I'm not going to eat it right away because, see what it did? Yep. So I'm not going to eat it right away because I want to try the ones I haven't had yet. And I don't want to spoil the palate. So I'm opening them. A little tab here, which is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, they smell so good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, and my finger's burning already. What's that about? All right, they're in this way. Should I? I'm going to touch them. I'm going to just touch them. They are a little salty, so here we go. Just one. And another one. With the other side of the mouth. Delicious. The heat is building. So, so tasty. People on the reviews were saying how they could just sit and eat the whole can. 
and it's a great snack. They talked about the heat. I mean, I didn't eat anything before this. So it's a blank palette. Good almonds, they're just good almonds. They have a little bit of heat, like a um, medium salsa. I was expecting a lot more, um, but it's tasty. I'm not gonna not eat them. Like these, I'm not probably gonna eat those. Although I might, I don't know. My finger is a little sensitive now though. Okay, well we did those. <laughs> Alright, you wanna so that was the diamond gold diamond blue diamond almonds bold habanero barbecue. Now hmm. <laughs> let's open the kettle. Pringle crinkle cut habanero lime chips. They smell like kettle chips. Oh, they're ruffles. See? Yeah. So the reviews on these said they were hot too, like spicy hot. So I w I'm trying to go by the reviews, people. Okay. Yeah. That's like the, um, that's the flavor of the ghost pepper whopper. Oh, no, no. The, the Wendy's ghost pepper chicken sandwich. Maybe both of them because they're both ghost pepper. But this is habanero with pepper. Ghost pepper is supposed to be up in like near a million Scoville. Um, scale and habaneros are around a hundred thousand Scoville. A little difference. <laughs> they were if they were really using ghost peppers, it would be a little unbearable. But I think the habanero has a nice heat. Um, let's try another one. It says great taste naturally. I like them. And they have that potato chip potato flav flavor. And the um the ruffle is the bridges is really nice with a crinkle cut. I haven't had kettle with with um crinkle cut before. It's easier to eat than the other ones that are kettle kettle brand chips. Okay, I'm not. I'm a well. I was hoping to push my limit a little bit, but this is about the same as the Dorito um, Dynamita chili lump. So I'm gonna eat this one now. Mm-hmm. It's like exactly the same, but a different flavor. These are so good. I can only eat, well sometimes I eat about 12 of them, but usually I can only eat around six. All right, for you, I will eat another habanera Pringles. All right, that's what it looks like. Right? 
could even smell it as you're eating it. It's like a salsa with a little peppery, like a, it smells like um, bell peppers. I might share them because, yeah, they're good. They're just not my favorite. Okay, and then now the scorching. Scorching. Let me look up the scorching flavors really quick for you. Um, they had all three at the store. Pringles. So it's barbecue, um, sour cream and onion, buffalo, and hot chili and lime. Great! Yeah! So there's four, four of them? Five of them? Four? <laughs> but you can probably find them in like Walgreens, Safeway, Walmart, um, Target. I got this at Target, so. Ha, huh, so. Um, let's get a nice full chip out here. Dig a little. And you can see the flavor all over this chip. Oh, but piece just fell down. Okay, so these are really hot. And they taste really good. And that's the chili and lime again. So I'm about chili, lime and, cause these are lime too, you know? So the Dorito lime and the Cheeto and the Pringles lime is about the same heat. You kind of have to eat a couple of these to get to the heat of one of those, though. Yeah. So one of my subscribers was mentioning that I was doing sweets. And it dawned on me that I was like, not doing any savory or salty and I'm like you know what I should combine savory with it so next time you will get savory and sweet in my video and we have a uni universal yums box coming as well all right that's the last one as well as a new crate snack crate I signed up for and um, that will be coming as well so thank you for joining me in all these great heat tests sampling food video and I hope you have a great rest of your day join me in the next one and if you like or comment or whatever. Thank you for being here. Bye.